All right, welcome back. Talking about the NFL draft is this week, round one Thursday. We have a special here on KDK, 7.30 p.m. Ahead of the picks, join us. I'll be there with Charlie Batch, Chris Hoke. We have a lot to get into, and now we're going to talk about what might happen in that draft. And we'll start with you, Ron. Uh, the Steelers pick 28th. I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Everyone knows they need somebody to play inside linebacker. They brought in Bostic. They may need to draft somebody high on their list. But if their top four choices in that department are gone, would you still take an inside linebacker? No, I, I'm going to take it. They're at the point where I think they could use help at a number of positions. I'm taking the best available athlete, that old, old cliche. I'm not reaching to take an inside linebacker. If, if it's somebody they like high on their board, uh, manages to get down there, sure, take them. But if you, under your uh, scenario, if the top guys are gone, they don't really like the number five guy, I'm taking a safety or a cornerback or an offensive lineman or wide receiver running, but any position except quarterback. I wouldn't take an offensive lineman. They're set there for all five positions. and Their two best backups are set. Uh, I would also wait on a wide receiver, maybe a running back if Darius Geis somehow is still there or Chubb. But then again, you can get Chubb in the second round potentially too. I'm of the opinion that if you can't get an inside linebacker, get an outside linebacker because uh, their pass rush, I think those sack stats were bloated a lot by playing Cleveland twice and Houston once. I think a lot of those sacks came basically over three games. They're dropping their outside linebackers so much into coverage, I think in part because, yeah, they lack some other coverage ability without Ryan Shazier, but they're not great pass rushers either. They're relying too much on Hayward and Tua to do that job. I say get the best pass rusher available on the outside if you can't get an inside guy. All that said, uh, I think if this defense isn't improved, uh, over the offseason, then you still know you're going to have to score points. And that's why if one of those four inside backers that you look at as a first round talent is not available when your time comes up as the Steelers in the first round, you have to look to add more offensive talent, especially with Le'Veon Bell's time uh, ticking away as a Pittsburgh Steeler. And we don't know how many more years Ben Roethlisberger has. Uh, he may choose to try and play three or four more years, but Old quarterbacks get hurt sometimes, too. So if you somehow fall into a Darius Geis, maybe even Lamar Jackson, I don't hesitate to do that. And if there's nothing that you deem first round ready, when your spot comes up, trade back. You well, would go Lamar there's Jackson There's no way I take round. a quarterback. Yeah, I wouldn't early. take Lamar Jackson. No, there, no way. way. I, I take, unless I I mean, unless they absolutely love somebody. Try to have Ben somebody to help him win now. Worry about next year, next year. Uh, I think as long as he stays healthy, and who knows, that's the same with any of them. That's the biggest Chris, question mark, If Ron. he stays healthy, he's going to play for a couple more I disagree, years. Chris. I, I, would, I would be more inclined to see the Steelers trade up this year to get one of those four inside linebackers than I would trade down. What are you going to give? I guess that's my biggest question as far as trading up. We know they don't like to do it. If you're going to move, a lot, too. It, it didn't cost them a lot to move up to get Palomalo. Yeah, yeah but the times have changed. Well too. I, and let me ask you guys about this. Tim, you brought this up, so I'll start with you. You said about outside – and the reason you would say that is because Bud Dupree is entering this stage That's where they have to yep. figure it out. Now, I would think they have to know their answer before Thursday, even though it's not due till May the 3rd, right? They'd have to make right. that decision. Right. What do you I mean, think that decision is? I don't know if they're, if they're saying to themselves, we're going to wait to decide how high we take an outside linebacker and how much we like the guy that we get. I suppose that's why they could be waiting. But I'm with you, Bob. I would think that their decision would have to be made at this you point. You know, I know they say stuff, and, uh, you know, some of it's a smokescreen. Kevin Colbert has gone out of his way to be complimentary of Dupree, more so than I can remember him in the past. I don't remember him saying that stuff about Jarvis Jones when they had the same decision to make. Whether they like Dupree or not, I don't know. Um, I'm Based on what Colbert says, though, I'm thinking they're going to probably give him another year. Yeah, I think they bring him back, and I think that doesn't change the fact that they need to find added depth at linebacker inside and outside. All right, let's talk about secondary. That's another issue because I still think uh, you need help there. It has to be depth. Uh, Artie Burns took a step back, Ron. Uh, you know, if you look at cornerback or safety even, they brought in Morgan Burnett, but they still can use more help there. What do you think they'll do in that department if it comes down? I think they'll draft somebody very high there, you know, whether it's maybe not the first round, but I could see it in the second or third. You're right. I don't know what to think about Burns. He's, at, at times he looks terrific, like, yeah, he's deserving to be a number one pick, and he's a big-time cornerback. He doesn't tackle well at all. He misses a ton of tackles, and then he gets beat, sometimes dumb plays. Uh, I think they have a decision to make about Sean Davis, too. I kind of like him. 
Uh, but I think he could be better, too, for where he was picked in the draft. You're right. They both could be better, but I'm not ready to give up on either one. No, I'm not either. Okay, but then if you're getting a safety or a corner, you're getting someone who then you're hoping you don't have to play because those guys improve. And when I say that, I'm, I'm considering Cam Sutton, who they really like, came on. I've heard many times over they're considering moving Sutton to free safety and have Davis come off the bench with Morgan Burnett being the starter. And if that's not the case, then maybe if they uh, decide to keep Sutton or uh, they decide to keep Davis as the starter, the free safety, maybe Sutton challenges Artie Burns, but you know, they actually do have numbers at defensive back. They just want the numbers to play better. I mean, what are we going to do? Uh, see them ditch Mike Hilton after the way he showed out? Uh, I still think if you get yourself another safety here, he's at best the sixth and maybe the seventh in the rotation. Uh, I would go in a different direction. Well, I'd try I, to find somebody better. If you find somebody better than Sean Davis, play him. Well, I, I, well, what this strikes me as there's other needs. There's other Player. needs. Well, I'm, there I'm, are, yeah, but, but I'm not drafting the fifth linebacker who I don't like because I just need one. Well, that's why we said go with a pass rusher well, or running back. Do that, or I, I'd take any position but quarterback. What the secondary sounds like to me is the way you just describe it, Tim. Is we got to have this, this, that, and this all go right. There's a lot of Guys things that get hurt too. Uh, uh, well, uh, you need a lot to go right in this secondary for it to perform at the level they need it to perform at. And I don't think they're there yet. I think that's why you still look for a, a safety. And this is why I think you can trade back in the first round and get multiple picks in the second because there's going to be more of that secondary talent available there. Pirates have issues, lots of them. We saw five runs in four games. They lost all four Philly. So where are they right now, and what could they do to change some of this? We'll talk about it when we come back right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.